Hello and welcome to Greenhouse Data's Frequently Asked Questions video series. In this video we are going to demonstrate how to create a catalog, how to upload media, and how to utilize Greenhouse Data public media. After logging into your IAAS organization you'll see several tabs at the top of the page. Click on the Catalogs tab. As you can see this is a newly constructed organization and I don't have any catalogs, templates, or media available for use. Before we can make use of any templates or media, we need to create a container to house them. This can be done a couple of ways. If you are using a Windows machine, you can simply right-click in the media list and select Add Catalog from the context menu that appears. If you are using a Mac or Linux operating system, click the Add Catalog button just above the media list, indicated by the green plus sign. You'll see the new catalog wizard appear. Give the catalog a name, a brief description if you want one, and click Next. On this screen, you will be able to choose the members of your organization that should be able to use this catalog and their permission level. In this case, I would like all members of my organization to have full control over this catalog. The final screen displays the configuration. Review these settings and click Finish when ready. The catalog is now available for the organization. Because this is a new catalog, there's nothing here to use. Using the Upload button immediately above the item list, we can choose to upload existing VMs that are in OVF format. And from the Media tab, we can upload ISO or FLP media files simply by browsing our file system. To save some time, let's see what is already available for use. In the left-hand menu pane, select Public Catalogs. Here you will see the Master Catalog which contains a variety of pre-configured virtual machine templates and existing media. For this demonstration, I am going to select the CentOS 6.3 LAMP X64 template. Once selected, there are a couple of options available to us. Windows users will again be able to right-click on the item and get a context menu. Mac and Linux users can utilize the Cloud button and the Blue Gear button just above the Item menu. Clicking the Add to My Cloud button, indicated by the small cloud immediately above the media list, will launch a wizard that will deploy the template as a new vApp in the organization. However, because we would like this template available in my organization's catalog, I'm going to just copy this template to my catalog. Give the template a name. a brief description, the catalog in which this template should exist, the org VDC where this catalog exists, and click OK. As you can see, the template is copying over. This is going to take some time. After the template has finished copying, we can choose how we would like to deploy the template. Select the template and click Add to My Cloud. We need to give the vApp a name. Name the virtual machine as it will appear in vCloud. Select the appropriate storage profile and configure the network that this virtual machine will be attached to. Review the settings that you configured throughout the wizard and click Finish when ready. We can now click on the My Cloud tab at the top of the page and watch the progress of deploying the new vApp template. Now we can see after the vApp has finished deploying from the template that this vApp now contains a virtual machine called LAMP server just as we configured it. Now let's say for instance that you wanted to deploy a virtual machine from the catalog without actually deploying an entirely new vApp. 
This is done simply by entering the vApp in which you want the virtual machine to be placed and clicking the Add VM button immediately above the virtual machine view. It will launch a wizard where you can select which catalog you would like to deploy the virtual machine from. In this case, I would like to select the public catalog. Choose the virtual machine that you would like to deploy. Click Add and Next. The wizard will walk you through the rest of the steps just as we did before when we were deploying the vApp template. Choose a name as you would like it to appear in vCloud. Click Next. Select the network configuration. Any other network settings that you would like to configure through in the wizard. Review the settings you've configured and click Finish. This may take some time depending on the size of the virtual machine. However, it shouldn't take too long. Once the virtual machine has finished deploying from the template, you will see that it has been added right next to the virtual machine that was deployed from our previous template deployment in the same vApp. At this point, you are now ready to interact with the virtual machines and configure them for your production workload. For more information about Greenhouse Data Frequently Asked Questions, please visit us online at www.greenhousedata.com support slash cloud dash FAQS.